Troy Thompson, class of uh, 1989 graduate, Department of Agriculture and Economics at Texas a and I uh, came to uh, Texas A&M to do a master's degree. It was accepted uh, on a probation by uh, Dr. Dan Padburn. He was the department head at the, at the time. So I came and I worked for uh, Tom Knight. He was uh, the uh, my uh, thesis professor. And uh, then I went to work for uh, Ed Reister as a research associate. And I did that for several years. And I, I, I love that so much that they, they practically had to kick me out. And I really enjoyed working with Ed and, and learned a lot. And when I uh, finished there, I went to uh, the, uh, the Corps of Engineers at uh, Galveston. I worked as an economist for a short period of time. And then I went into the uh, energy industry. And I made the transition there. I, I uh, had a interview at Halliburton and the person that was hiring me was a Aggie Con graduate from Oklahoma State University. So he knew what I could do, the capabilities that I could do and that's how I got into the energy industry and I worked at Halliburton for uh, several years and then at Deloitte and currently I'm with uh, Chevron and I've been at uh, Chevron for uh, about nine years. I, uh, I really enjoyed uh, my uh, time at Texas A&M, and I felt that it prepared me well for what I uh, did. And I had some great uh, teachers uh, that uh, prepared me well with the tools that I used in my uh, used in my career in business, and so. I enjoyed, uh, made a lot of lifelong friends when I was at uh, when I was at the department, and still keep uh, in contact with uh, many of them, both on the faculty and then also uh, uh, colleagues that are now in various parts of, of the country. So, building my skills and, and building relationships and, and lifelong friends, I think those are the things I really um, enjoy and remember. After graduation, so I uh, was uh, interested in uh, economics. I uh, was interested in agriculture. My uh, high school economics teacher, he was a big influence on me, uh, Lou Peeboy. And so I was interested in, in economics. And then my grandfather, Raymond Lyles, he was a farmer rancher in Central Texas, in Holland, Texas. And he was a big influence. And so. I like to bring both of those together. And so that's what I wanted to do as a, uh, a career. And I would say in my, all my whole career has been in uh, building or extension of, of economics, either uh, analytics or uh, business planning. And uh, I think the time I was at A&M, that, that bridged me well into transition into uh, the, uh, the companies that So the advice I would have is uh, to work hard, that uh, you have to uh, apply yourselves, you have to think uh, uh, can-do uh, attitude, honesty. Um, I would uh, advise uh, not only your core curriculum in agricultural economics, but take as much uh, finance and accounting as you, as you can if you're going to look at a, a career in, uh, in business. But, Fundamentally, you got to believe in yourself and, and work hard, and, and you can achieve what you set out to do. I firmly believe that. So I, uh, when I came to uh, graduate st school, uh, I was uh, married, and so I was uh, starting a family, and uh, I had to make uh, time to to do both, and it is difficult to to uh, balance. Anytime I would advise someone, you got to, to uh, put family first. And I put in a lot of hours, but we were able to do a lot of fun things uh, when I was in uh, graduate school. And one of the things I remember my uh, oldest son was, uh, was 
was uh, born when we were here. And we were in the old agriculture building on the main part of campus. And they have an elevator there that uh, they would come up and visit me. And there was an elevator to go up to the floor I was in. So it's like a big tin box. And he was he was real afraid to get in get in that. He still talks about that today. But they would come up and, and spend time and, and uh, we would roam campus. And it was really a pleasurable time. I think uh, to achieve, achieve success, you need to uh, work hard. Like I said, believe in, in yourself, a can-do attitude, positive uh, attitude. I think you have to be open to all uh, possibilities, um, not to be afraid to take a risk and kind of get out of your uh, comfort area and uh, look for opportunities. And, Build relationships uh, with uh, people that, that uh, you know that can open uh, doors uh, for you. Those are the kind of things I think would be in terms of keys to success. Well, I never did uh, have the opportunity to meet uh, Dr. Tim, but I know many of the, uh, the people that are in the registry, they either I went to school with or worked with as teachers, and so it's uh, it's quite a it's quite an honor uh, to be uh, selected. And really appreciate it in terms of the selection uh, committee, and uh, just so thankful really to, to be here. So on the on the like to to add, uh, well, I, uh, again I'm so thankful for uh, Tom Knight, who was my uh, master's thesis advisor. Ed Reister, who I, like I said, I really work, uh, worked with for several years, really enjoyed working with for several years. Ed gave me a, uh, when I left, he gave me a compass to have in terms of direction where he wanted to go in life. And one of the stories Ed told me when I worked, uh, worked as a research associate, we would go out and, and uh, work with farmers and ranchers, and he would tell me, uh, Thompson, when you go get a pool car, which had the A&M emblem on the door. He says, you be sure you know where you're going. We don't want to have someone driving around lost with the, the Aggie emblem on there. And so I made sure I knew where I was going to, to go. And so he gave me a, a good advice. The other thing I was going to say is in terms of preparing me, like I said, I had good teachers. And I thought the mix of being able to take learning from the classroom and go out and work with the extension faculty as we work with agribusiness owners and farmers and ranchers, being able to explain the concepts that I learned in class, I thought that served me well in, the, in my career. And so I think that was something 